Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a quick Tuesday morning and Amazon haul. Now, this Tuesday morning stuff I bought a couple of weeks ago. I had filmed a video, but I must have accidentally deleted it and it, it was gone. So, I'm just going to film it again and show you guys. Now, as you have already been made aware, a lot of the Tuesday mornings are closing um, two of the three in my area are closing, and I did pop in a couple weeks ago to see if I could find anything. So I'm going to show you guys that, but I'm going to show you what I got from Amazon first. Now, I ordered this, like, huge pack, and this is, like, a hundred of these little boxes. There are mini pizza boxes, Now I thought they were going to be bigger than this, but they're pretty small. Um, uh, I figured I can decorate them however I want, but they're perfect for, like, little tiny embellishments, um... Like I said, I thought they were going to be slightly bigger than this. I clearly didn't read the sign very well. Um, but they're cute little pizza boxes. And yeah, I will make use of them. I might share some. They're already cut. You just have to literally pop them together real quick. So that is that from um, Amazon. And Tuesday morning. Okay. I got one of these We Are Memory Keepers foam mat, $5.49. Everything was 10% off at the time. Again, I bought all of this stuff a couple weeks ago. These thickers, um, these are called Good Vibes. I'm not sure what collection this is from, honestly. It looks to me like it might have been a Jen Hadfield or Amy Tangerine collection, but it has like an iridescent um, finish and um, has like lots of little sentiments, which I like. So I thought I would get these for making some uh, embellishments. I got a pack of these um, thickers called Caroline. I do have, I think, another pack of these. These are Valentine's themed, but obviously you can use some of them. Like, best friend, me and you, hugs and kisses. You don't have to only use those for Valentine's Day. Um, I picked up a bunch of these Echo Park and Cardabella frames for, um, I'm going to punch them out and just use the frames for, like, shakers and whatnot. But I got this first one. It's called Road Trip from Cardabella. Again, I just got the frames because I wanted the frames to make into little shakers. Um, now, the travel D one I might use in, like, a scrapbook layout because I do travel a lot. Um, but I got that for those. And then the rest of these are probably going to mainly be made into shakers. This is an Echo Park collection called Little Dreamer. A uh, little girl themed. But I just thought the frames were so pretty. I like the colors. I love the little rainbow on this one. And then, obviously, the, the punch-out pieces I could probably use on something else. I got two of those. I got two of this one. This is called Play All Day from Echo Park. And, again, I really like the different frames, the little rainbows, the flowers, the polka dots. Um, yeah, so anything, like, baby or little girl themed I'm not really going to use. But, like, this one is called Our Little Princess from Echo Park. Again, I'm not going to use the little girl stuff. I don't have kids, but I'm going to use the frames to make some shakers. Make little shaker embellishments. And then I got two of these called Welcome Baby Girl from Echo Park. Again, anything that's like baby related, I will probably just throw away. Um, but I will keep the frames. I'm going to punch all these out and throw them in like a container so I have a container full of frames to work on. And then this one is called New Day by Echo Park. I love this plaid one here. It's so pretty. This is like a spring collection, Just Be You. That makes me think of Laura. Um, live Life in Full Bloom. Yeah, so again, I got two of those. I got this Paige Evans chipboard from, I think this is the um, Splendid Collection. Uh, I don't have that collection, but I thought this was really pretty for like spring and summery type projects because her collections are so bright and beautiful. Uh, I don't really buy a lot of her collections because they are just a little bit overwhelming to me as far as like the color palette. It's just a little bright. But I like the chipboard because I can kind of pair this with other things and make embellishments with it like if I use like plain colored paper um I'd have like this beautiful pop of you know design or color on with something else I love the little birds um but yeah her collections to me are just usually a bit much like her patterns on her paper are like generally a little bit too much for me but I do still like this chipboard um I did pick up this little kit um I already took it out of the packaging but because like I said, I did film a couple weeks ago. This is an Echo Park collection called Witches and Wizard. It is a Harry Potter theme. Um, you guys know I love Harry Potter. I have a Harry Potter tattoo. Um, I've been to the Harry Potter experience in London. And it was wonderful. 
Um, I love all the movies. I've read the books multiple times. I'm, I love Harry Potter. Um, this one is a really cute page with all of these little elements. The witch's hat, the wand, the little potion bottles, the potion books, the cauldron, the little suitcase with the um, scarf, the broom, the candles, the stars in the background. I just love this page. And it has got this red and yellow plaid on the back, kind of like Gryffindor colors. It's called Something Magical. And this really pretty blue ba um, sky pack pa um, background um, with stars and moons all over it. And this is called Journaling Cards because you have journaling cards on the other side. So this is super cute. All right, we have this one. It's like a yellowy color with little lightning bolts all over it. And this one is called Owls. And you have your owls on the other side. So pretty. I will eventually do some sort of Harry Potter themed project because I'll just do it for fun. This one's called Spellbooks. We have this burgundy with like burgundy stars. And then you have your library with all of the books. Love that. This doesn't even have to be like Harry Potter thing. You can do a sprite, a spreadsheet, a spreadsheet, excuse me, a like scrapbook layout if you'd love to read. Um, you could do like a picture of like your personal library and and scrapbook that on this type of a page. It's really pretty. All right, we have this black sky with the clouds and the stars, and this one's called journaling cards. And we have more cut aparts on this side. Love this little collection. I, I have another one. I don't think it's this one though. It's maybe something else, but very similar. We have the Gryffindor colors, the yellow and the mustard yellow. <sighs> yellow. I cannot talk today. We have the red with the mustardy mustardy colored yellow um, magical hats. And we have your witch's hats on the other side with the stars. And then we have the sticker sheet with all of the little fun elements like Hogwarts Express. I mean, obviously it's not Hogwarts because this is, you know, not licensed, but it's very, very cute though. Very, very cute. I love the little potion bottles, the um, crystal ball. So cute. And all of the colors. We have Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. No, we don't have Hufflepuff on here because that's, that's Gryffindor. And then, I mean, that's not really Hufflepuff, but I don't know they're missing. They're missing on here. So we got that little collection and that was um, $7.49. And then I got this paper pad that I had looked at and looked at and looked at. Every time I had been there, I thought it was so pretty, but I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to buy it because I don't want to buy just like plain paper pads. This is called Sage Park from Recollections. It's a hot buy paper pad from Michaels at some point or another. Um, and it is beautiful. Like I finally just bought it because it was, you know, it was still there and they're closing. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it and I'll make paper ruffle embellishments with it. I, um, I'll pair it with something. I don't know. It's so pretty. But it has like a watercolor -y feel to it. It's got this beautiful sage green and florals. You get two of each. And this leaf design. We have a wood grain. We have this really pretty green page with the gold foiling. We have like a taupey tannish gray um, gingham uh, we have this leaf pattern this beautiful stripe oh this is so pretty I love this page it is absolutely gorgeous we have this one that could be good for a scrapbook layout it's got the florals all around another leaf pattern on a white background we have this one I'm not a big fan of this one honestly it's peach with like a gold foiling pattern but I'm just not like a huge fan of it it's a little bit too much for me um I love these cut aparts we have this one this green with this it almost looks like it's textured it's really cool um, this one says welcome to our home that's more like something that you would frame I'm not going to do anything with that one we have this cool green swirly design with gold foiling we have this uh, also like a grayish color um, pattern, florals. We have this one that looks almost like a wallpaper to me. <laughs> it's really pretty though. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have this like peachy pink, like ombre, like chevron type pattern. It's so pretty. This is another one. I'm not a huge fan of these really busy like gold foiled patterns on like a background. I just think it's too much. I'd rather they do like subtle gold foiling on like another page. 
We have some larger cut aparts with some gold foiling. We have this green page. We have this one with like a swirly with the gold. We have this very pretty like um, watercolor floral. And then this one here we could definitely make into a scrapbook layout. It's just got the leaves on the one, the leaves on the one, um, or it's on the bottom, but you could do it on the side or on the, the bottom. Um, and then we have this gray paper with this design here on white. So that is it. Um, so that is my quick little Tuesday morning haul that I, this is my second time filming this. Um, I filmed this a couple weeks ago and I just deleted the video on accident. Um, I'm going to have another Tuesday morning haul, um, coming out soon, but you'll see this one first. Um, but I was out of town and I hit up Tuesday morning there and picked up a few things, um, because they're going out of, you know, they're closing a lot of the stores. So I was trying to grab up what I could while I could find it. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.